wipe your paws. Now light the stove. I haven't been to my dugout for a long time. It's New Year's Eve, December 29th. There hasn't been a video for a long time, again due to my illness. But this time, this story is very unusual. I would even say strange. I'll tell you quickly now. Basically, I wake up in the morning and I can't get out of bed because my foot hurts a lot. I literally can't step on it. I jump to the bathroom to wash and brush your teeth and I slowly begin to remember what happened. Yesterday I just went to bed. Everything was okay. And in the morning I can't step on my foot. The pain is such that I understand, but that at least a crack or maybe a fracture. I just can't understand what happened. I've had quite a few fractures throughout my life. So I know these feelings, this pain that a person feels when a fracture occurs, that this is a fracture. Well, just in case, relied on chance. I thought what if it goes away and went to the hospital. The next day, when your foot is swollen and the pain became even stronger, it hurt even without stepping on it. So I went to see a therapist and they sent me to a surgeon. The surgeon found out that I don't remember how I could have injured her because I didn't fall, didn't twist my ankle. Here, somehow he's like that. Exchanged glances with second doctor, says it's something infectious or viral as he put it like that. I don't understand what you're talking about. How does this relate to fractures? No casts, no bandages. I was prescribed injections. That's all. I gave myself an injection. I give intramuscular injections myself. Here. And literally half an hour later, I began to slowly walk without crutches. I completely removed the second third injection and crutches. This all happened a week ago. Exactly a week has passed and I've already come here to the forest through the mountains, through forests, and along slippery paths. In general, I was almost sure that this is a fracture, or at least a crack, and was already preparing for that, that you will have to spend a long time in a cast. But several injections and a fracture disappeared. So these are the infections and viruses now. I don't know what it was, and I hope that this disease will not come back. Although after I stopped taking injections, Little by little the pain returns, not to that extent of course, but I hope that everything will pass. In general this is the story. It was cold this morning. I decided if not today, then I'm unlikely to. I'll get here before the new year, because our weather is like this. I was already approaching the water. There was ice on the river for several days. I heard from fishermen that they were on the ice. The ice was about 5 centimeters. It froze just recently. The river was frozen, but it was impossible to cross it. 
In some places, the ice was strong, and where there was a strong current, it could not support the weight of a person. In general, the ice froze, but after a few days, it melted again. The weather is such that it's minus at night and plus during the day. And sometimes during the day, there is a slight minus. It's about 3 degrees Celsius right now. Here's the rest of the ice. On the way here, I saw large ice flows that had not yet melted. I came here very light. Took a small backpack, bottle of water, canned meat for Carlos. Carlos is sleeping and resting now, as usual after running through the forest. Well, as usual, I couldn't help but forget something. I wanted to take Christmas decorations to hang on the tree, but I forgot and didn't take any jewelry. It is clear that the branches of the plant began to stretch towards the sunrise. The branches turn there. Well, this probably means that she is still alive. She's got juice moving. I hope she gets used to it. I chopped some wood. The firewood is all damp. This is the weather and it's dripping here somewhere. You can see that the soil under the firewood is wet. They burn very poorly and the dugout doesn't warm up, doesn't warm up. The thermometer was about zero degrees. I've been heating the stove for two hours now. The temperature rose only to six degrees. You have to chop the wood finely so that it burns better. There are already a lot of burning coals and firewood well chopped, but there is no active combustion. The dugout is slowly warming up. It's already almost 10 degrees. I already had doubts whether to spend the night here or not. Although there are no options anymore because, because I forgot my phone at home and I don't know what time it is. But I roughly understand that I won't have time to return by daylight. So you will definitely have to spend the night. No telephone connection, unfortunately. Well, it's okay. There are no options anyway. So I figured out how to decorate the Christmas tree. I haven't been taking power banks with me lately. Since I got flashlights, which have already been verified by me. They last a long time and are very reliable. And here he is just with a hook and looks like a Christmas ball. You can also turn on the red color. Well, this is a great decoration for the Christmas tree. The dugout is gradually warming up, already 14 degrees. So it's no longer scary that I might freeze. Most likely you will have to light the stove almost all night. Because the firewood is all raw. Wood doesn't burn well, so you need to make sure it doesn't go out. It's already starting to get dark, although it's quite early now. When it is dark, most of the time will have to be spent inside the dugout. Quite boring. Moreover, I did not outline any plans or any work. I won't do anything. I also forgot my phone. At first, it seemed completely boring. But on the other hand, I remembered. Already forgotten feeling when there were no mobile phones, but not only mobile phones. Even landline home phones which young people today probably don't even know about. I remembered how I had to agree on a place and time to meet someone or leave notes. To be honest, I vaguely remember all this. Phones have long been part of our everyday lives. It's even hard to imagine how we managed without them before. It would seem. Just a few hours without modern gadgets without internet and you're already starting to think about what you want and not about what social networks impose on you which are probably controlled by states who impose their opinions and brainwash people so i'm thinking about getting rid of this bad habit just like tobacco and alcohol all this also comes from the state these are all levers of keeping a person in submission 
Yes, Carlos? Well, we philosophized a little, thought about it. Now we still need to chop some wood. Carlos, what's the matter? Why are you barking? Who are you waiting for? No one will open it for you except me. Frozen? Now open. Now open. Go to your place, go. The Christmas tree is on fire. I'm not sure if I'll have time to edit this video before the new year. So, just in case, I wish everyone a happy new year. And all this, of course, will happen when peace comes. Therefore, first of all, to everyone in the world. In the new and subsequent years and all the best. It is dark outside. I have no idea what time it is. I lit the stove to warm up faster. It became warm and I followed Carlos example. He fell asleep so sweetly and I also dozed off. So I slept so well that I woke up when it got cool. Here I threw some firewood. It's good that the coals didn't go out because it was very difficult to melt raw wood. In general, I don't even understand approximately how long it is. Approximately possible. Well, the wood probably burned out for about three hours. Went dark at 4 at 4.30 p.m. In short, it's unclear. Maybe 10, maybe 12 o'clock at night. I threw in some firewood, but for some reason it flared up inactively. Condensation drips from all sides. Very uncomfortable. Although I fell asleep so soundly that I even didn't notice these drops. Woke up and lay there with water dripping on my head. I slept on the couch, but it was cold, it hadn't warmed up yet. That's why my back hurts now. I moved here, to another bed. It stands higher from the ground, it seems better here. In general, I will continue to light the stove. How many degrees? 17 degrees. It was much warmer. I felt cooler and I woke up. Okay, if there is something interesting, I'll tune in again. Carlos snores. We haven't eaten anything yet. Carlos had breakfast this morning. And I didn't even have breakfast. Sleepy. I'll slowly it would and doze off. When I get some sleep, then I'll put the kettle on. I'll drink tea and open the can for Carlos. I hope he doesn't hear, otherwise he'll wake up and won't let me sleep. Well, see you later. I dozed off again and woke up again. But now I'm completely lost in time. I have no idea what time it is, even approximately. Maybe p.m., maybe a.m. Hard to tell, when there is no access to a watch to the exact time. Time starts to pass much slower. I had several situations when there was no clock and there was no one to ask what time it was. And it turned out that Looks like it should be dawn already, literally right here. But it turned out that it was still very early. PM or 1 in the morning. So I decided to put the kettle on. Drink tea.
I'll feed Carlos at the same time. Well, I'll continue to wait for the dawn. I don't understand. It's like I don't even want to sleep anymore. Maybe I've already slept and it'll be dawn soon. Or maybe it's the other way around. I don't want to sleep because I've been lately. My sleep pattern has somehow changed. I used to get up at dawn and went to bed early. And now lately, well, it's 2 minus 3 a.m. I can't sleep. Sometimes I don't sleep all night until the morning. Sometimes I fall asleep there at about 3 or 4. Well, of course, I'm already without an alarm clock. I definitely won't get up at dawn. In general, these are the things. It's 23 degrees now, but if the stove burns out, it cools down pretty quickly. Now I'll check how Carlos is doing with his hearing. I'll put his bowl first. What will he say to this? He quickly heard the bowl. While he reacts calmly. For some reason. He didn't even think that he would be fed at night. Maybe it's morning soon. Carlos, I don't know. Did you think you were dreaming? Probably went back to bed. Now let's see how it reacts to opening. Jars. Yeah, it's more fun. Now I'll check a small piece. I'll try it myself. Edible or not. Your canned food. Seems okay. Yes now to you. I'll cut it into pieces now. Be patient a little. Your whole jar will be there, don't worry. Here's the complete one. Oops, move away. Move away said. Do not rush. You grunt. All. You have a little left. In the morning. I just don't know when it will be. Maybe it's already morning. In general, you'll have enough patience for now. Get some rest. You're very quick, of course. Yeah, let's get in place. Well done. Good night. Already woke up. I don't really want to sleep. Remembered one interesting story from childhood. About clocks and time. I was 12 years old then. And I was already at that moment. Loved fishing and knew some fishing secrets. Could cook the right bait and attract fish so that she actively pecks. In general, I already knew some of the nuances. And my friends, comrades, who too loved fishing, but not so much, were already dedicated into these subtleties often kept me company. Well, I was happy to share my secrets with them. We built this on the river, fishing spot, to make it convenient to catch. Probably could accommodate five people. And we constantly fed the fish there. And even on the city, small river, a serious fish approached. Bream weighing a kilo. It was a serious trophy for such a river and I managed to catch them there quite often. 
and also Crucian carp with half a kilo. In general, the fishing was interesting and catchy, but there was one problem. We were at that age when it was difficult to sit in first place when someone wasn't biting. He started making noise. Eventually the whole company started to freak out and there was no longer any talk of a good catch. That's why such notorious fishermen. One of them is me. Come as early as possible. It was summer. Dawn was around four in the morning and around half past for 3.45. I've already been fishing. One more friend of mine also liked to come early. And we often met him like this at dawn. Quietly fished for some time. Until the rest of your friends wake up and come. With their arrival, fishing quickly ended. And once again, I'm going for a morning fishing trip. Everything is ready in the evening. Bait in general, everything is as it should be. We agreed with Sergei as usual. And I decided. The alarm clock was set as usual at half past three. Well, somehow I woke up a little earlier than the alarm clock. Looked at his watch. Ahem. I think there's no point in lying down for half an hour. I'll slowly get ready and go to the river. I think I'll sit there in the dark an extra half hour. Maybe your eyes will get used to it. I'll catch it like this. Generally so. And did got ready. And went to the river. Went down to the water. Unwound it slowly. I didn't take a flashlight with me. Because I understood that dawn was coming soon. Here we go slowly. Unwound the fishing rods. By moonlight abandoned and fed and began to wait for dawn because the float was very hard to see i had several fishing rods here i was sitting i was sitting waiting sergey is still missing although it would already seem he should have come by now i even caught some crucian carp already so blindly because I didn't see the float. Decided to reboot, and there was already a Crucian carp sitting there. Well, I'm sitting, I'm sitting, and still no dawn. I do not know what to do. Well, obviously more than an hour has passed. There should have been dawn. In half an hour even earlier. I'm still waiting. I'm sitting there for probably another half hour. I don't understand what's happening. Some thoughts are already incomprehensible. Maybe the sun burned out. Maybe the apocalypse has begun. Left the fishing rods. Near the river. I went upstairs myself. I think maybe I'll meet someone. Well, it's true that at such a time it was difficult to meet someone. But I heard some voices. And decided to quickly get up. From the river up. To ask the time. And imagine my surprise. When I asked what time it was, I was told that. Time. About. 1.30 I'm lucky that I met someone at such a time. Someone was returning. From the birthday. I left my fishing rods there. And went home to get some sleep. A couple more hours. And this is how it all turned out. Clock on the alarm clock. I didn't notice, half asleep, that it wasn't. 3 hours and 12 hours 15 minutes. That is, the arrows are in reverse. I counted big and small. It seemed 3 o'clock. But in fact it was 12.15. And after 15 minutes I'm already on the river. That is, at 0.30 at night. I sat and waited for a long time. Until dawn comes. Here's a joke. Actually absolutely true. Although, fishermen like to embellish their stories. But that's how it was. I'm telling you that for sure. Okay, I'll keep trying to sleep. 
It's clearly not dawn outside yet. What do you want? Do you want to go for a walk? Go away. So we waited for the dawn. The stove burned out. Cool. Well, in a sleeping bag it's quite normal. 14 degrees. I don't know on the street. Probably about zero. Need to see, maybe the ice is frozen. Generally, the dugout still copes with its main function. Here, namely, gives a person the opportunity, whom the night found in the forest. Spend the night and stay warm. But not as comfortable as before, of course. Earlier, I'm at 10 o'clock. At p.m., he threw up some firewood. And in the morning, there was about 20 degrees Celsius. It was very warm and kept it well. There are a lot of cracks now and the heat is leaving faster. Oh, and right now. I have an irresistible desire. Take it all apart. And redo it again. Everything should be smooth. Carlos. Everyone get back to your place. We'll get ready now. Here you go. Comely. So that everything is built smoothly. Because when I built it, it was already cold. I had to hurry and did everything. At an accelerated pace, therefore, there were a lot of nuances like that. Like this. Carlos had breakfast. I'll slowly pack my backpack and move towards the house. Maybe I'll have time. Edit this short video before the new year and you will be able to see him in the near future.
It's clear that there was a slight minus at night. Thin crust. Frozen. And the wave broke it all and now, some part washed ashore. Ready, let's go ahead. Go, go. Catch up overtake. Well, what a little trip it turned out to be. Actually, I came for this, to report that. I'm fine, because people in the comments are often interested. Where did he go? Why is there no video for so long? Well, I checked it at the same time. Well, I'll spend it at the same time. How's the Christmas tree here? As you can see, there is still no ice. When it will be unknown. This is how winter we have. But in principle. Dugout still. Capable. Give me an overnight stay. Person and it will be possible to come here. I think there will be ice anyway. There was no such thing in my memory. There was no ice at all all winter. It was that there was no ice until the new year. That's how it is now. But then there were still some. Long frosts. And the water is already cooled down thoroughly. That's why. There will be ice. And I'll come. For a few days, maybe for a week. After all, I'll go fishing. I'll stay in the dugout. What are there, Carlos? Mushrooms. Give me mushrooms here. Let's go, let's go. I don't know what time it is now. Because I fell asleep again and missed the dawn. I woke up already. Light. Well, Carlos and I will say goodbye to you with this. Once again, I congratulate everyone on the upcoming holidays. Goodness and peace. See you in new videos. Bye-bye.